part two of six. With profound, humble gratitude and love to all venerated, enlightened masters, we bow to the Almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy, blessed presence. May all beings be awakened by their divine grace. Etc. These enemies, they have to come back in order to make up for their last life, but they're too low and they make a lot of trouble as well. But if I refuse them, they become worse even. They, they cannot uh, go up, you see what I mean? Mm? The thing is, it, it, it was my fault though. I, before I even took on this business officially, I vowed that I would save the people who are the worst cases, who are from hell and who nobody else cares for. So they all come to me. So it's my fault. But uh, okay, I can bear it. It's not a big deal. It's just that you cannot say that you don't feel anything. We now invite you to watch the next part of this meaningful gathering entitled Master's Foul to Save the Worst, Part 3 of 7 on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on August 27, 2013, in Menton, France. my own people forced me to give money. So I gave him the knife. I said, here, I don't have it. You take the knife and you do what you want with it. Oh my God. And then he just uh, somehow stopped. Oh, can you believe that? Supposed to be my driver. And he said he didn't want to drive me anymore. Give him the money now, he wants it to go. And give him the car as well. I said, no, I can't. The car I need. That type of money I don't have. And later I gave him some for his parents. I said, this is for your parents. He said, he said then I have nothing? That's all you have? 10,000 only? Oh my God, 10,000, he talked like it's a piece of cake. People work outside very hard, cannot uh, uh, save 10,000 in a year, right? Yes. He said, why, why couldn't I have more? I said, because you're not worth it. Even if I have, I won't give it to you. So he knew that I was not scared. I would not do it. So I just uh, find, uh, you know, a resident to drive me away fast somewhere else. And I sent another resident to, to pick him up, to tell him that I was in urgent situation. I had to leave. I could not uh, take him. I could not wait for him. I'm sorry, the car I need. So. I sent a resident to pick him up and send him back to where he wants it. Mm. And when he got there, he still wanted the car. But the resident didn't give it to him. He said, oh, we need it to, to go fetch people from the airport and bring them back and forth and all that. Imagine, you know, so Judah's story didn't happen only in Jesus' time. Hmm? But is it the dark force working through them? Of course. They don't realize what they're doing. They do realize they do what, do they're realize doing. what they're doing. Yeah. Also, the dark force just uses them. And, oh also, bad scary. instruments. Scary, mm. yes, yes. Bad instruments everywhere. Uh, even now, every day, I, I have a headache with even just one female assistant. She makes trouble all the time. So can you trust her? Like she doesn't lock my door when she comes in and she goes out, she just leaves it all open. And I'm not there, I'm not even aware of that. You know, suppose somebody come in there and wait for me again. Mm. In the house, you know, because the door, house is not locked. For example, like that. Mm. Or the dog, when he go out at the lunch time, he doesn't take off his vest. And when coming in the house with the cold air con, 
then she doesn't put the vest on either. You see what I mean? In the heart, she keeps the vest on. In the cold, she takes it off. And she knows it's not right. We told her many times already. This is common sense, no? For example, like that, every day she finds something. I'm so scared of her, but I, I don't have people. All the good residents have to go out for initiations, give initiation, manage restaurants, uh, even do waiter job, uh, cook for everybody in the restaurant, or do a lot of office work, all kinds of things, you know? And managing other places or doing kinds of things. So I don't really have anybody. Understand? And besides, whoever comes in just a few weeks, they just change or make difference or make trouble because the level is too low. The negative can scratch them now and then, you know. But the woman I have this time is everyday trouble. I don't mean to complain, you know. Even if I do, uh, you know. You're making me feel, you know, my suffering is nothing, really. <laughs> it's good for you, at least. <laughs> I'm sorry for you. Uh, it's, it's okay, it's okay. So Don't worry. My heart bleeds. It's like it's hearing okay. it. It's, so, it's okay. Oh. I'm used to it, I told you. I can't. You can't. No. I really wanted to trust somebody. And once I planned to trust this guy, because he was new, he looked nice. But suddenly he changed. All, all the things I had not known about him before suddenly came out. When I plan in my mind, now, okay, I'm going to use this guy because he's still young and I can trust him with many things. In case I die, suddenly there is this and that and others. But then suddenly I realize that I cannot trust. Just like all the time. So I'm just stuck with whoever I have for the dog's sake, you know. At least, at least somebody take care of the dogs. Because if I change, somebody else take care. I'm not sure if it's the same because I keep changing and nothing better happens. But as long as the dogs are well, I, I, I accept the suffering just for that, yeah? Because like I'm here at different times. When I come home, I can't even cook for myself. How would I take care of the dogs? You know, I am tired sometimes and also like, um, at different times. Sometimes I tell somebody to buy food and put it in the fridge over there for me, but I don't have time to cook, and it becomes rotten. <laughs> and over here, sometimes I don't have time to eat, and also becomes rotten. <laughs> See, uh, during the retreat, it's a little bit more difficult like that, so I just have to bear it. During the retreat, you know, the negative force works even more on the assistant. Every single day, she makes me suffer. Every single day she makes me remember that she's on the planet and she has power over me because of my dogs. Every single day. Wow. Sometimes I'm lucky just one time per day, sometimes not lucky, more, more than one time per day. And I just have to bear it all. What am I to do? Oh, it's terrible. Every time retreat or I'm busy or go on tour, oh, there's a coming. Strong, all things together, you know, all sides. Mm -hmm. I don't even know where to to. If you uh, you, you watch a kung fu, yeah, yeah. or sometimes action movies, yeah. you see How the guy has to sometimes deal with different yeah. uh, attacks, of different sides, yes. not physically, emotionally, and mentally. Or the wife just left and everything else, and or the housekeeper just quit, or, or the kids uh, run away. All kinds of things like that happen at once to the main character, eh? It's like that. It's a cow all the time. Yeah. But I'm used to it, no? I'm used to it. What to do? <laughs> Why is it worse so during retreats? Is it because we're all here? Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, no. uh, more karma. Yeah. Yeah. All of you take some part of the luck for me. Don't you realize that? Yes. Because most of you don't have enough luck. So if you're around, of course you take a part of luck, like maybe 0 0.5, 0 0.02, or maybe 1%, maybe 2%. The assistants, they also take luck for me. So the more, more uh, assistants, the less luck I have. And of course, the more disciples, the more, the more I lose. Né? But what to do? So therefore, normally, 
I would have less problems with the assistant because my luck and my uh, control power is still strong. But if more people are around, then I'm weakened. Understand? Because I have to give some to you. No? And of course, in that situation, they attack me easier and it's stronger. Yeah? Master, it could have happened with either of us if we're so close to you. Like, Happen with what? Because what happens? No, because it's like changing. The, because it's so close to you that uh -huh. it weakens us. Say, if we if, at least if, if because you're close to me, it weakens you. Yeah, because weaken. it sounds like the. Mm. No, you are always already weak. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> if you. If we, if we say in the position of assisting you, then. We hear probably all this now, but it seems to be like it's impossible, right? I mean, that. It if depends. I'm probably close, then I'm weaker. Maybe. Yeah. No, not weaker. You already weak. The, when you are alone and you cannot do anything to me, but when you're with me, then you can. You see what I mean? But if I don't want that, then it's still the power. Somehow. Yeah, if, if your level is not too high, if your faith is not too strong, if you have too much human emotion instead of seeing the real thing. Mm. Yeah. It's just like that guy, I told him to close the bathroom window because the police were outside or something outside. The police sometimes connect with bad people. It's not, it's not like all oh, the police are bad, but some of them could be. You see what I mean? And. Uh, well, I watch it all the time on documentary, mm -hmm. films and all that about police. Sometimes they are forced to work with the, you know, like drug people or something. They are forced to, for some reason, understand? Mm -hmm. Or maybe they need money or something like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Or maybe easy money, and many different reasons, yeah. So what is it? You want to work for me now? <laughs> why you worry so much? <laughs> You're not with me, why you worry? No, it sounds so incredible. Huh? It, it sounds, sounds so incredible. Yes, I know. But the thing is, many of the people who work next to me, they are previous enemies. You know, they've been my robbers in former life, my thieves or my um, molester, all kinds of things, or wanted to molest. So whenever I'm near this kind of person, oh my God, um, it's not just a suffering, it's sometimes you feel like sexually molested. Astrally, not not physically, and this is very ugly. I'm telling you, I can sometimes I cannot bear it. I have to go and turn on the TV, watch any uh, stupid uh, cartoon or whatever in order to forget this, because uh, because I even have one now, and every time I see it, I feel, oh God, oh God, oh God, how can if you could feel the filthy energy, you you understand what I'm saying. I'm glad that you don't feel, because the more sensitive you are, the more you can feel these things. And, and because I'm constantly on retreat myself, you see? And my energy is very uh, vulnerable to good and bad. You see what I mean? And then uh, these kind of things you can feel is just like black and white. Normally, maybe, maybe when before, before this uh, retreating time now, before these years or last year, maybe I feel it less, more bearable. But now I feel, oh my, because in the former life, this type of person wanted to molest me. And they come and find you again and... Yeah, yeah, that's what they come for. That's what the Maya sends them for, but I cannot refuse them. I have to save them too. But in order to do that, I suffer a lot, physically, emotionally, and, and this is a very, very... Uh, <laughs> Uh, incredible situation, eh? I know. So just don't, don't come near me then. <laughs> if you're so scared, don't come nearby. <laughs> uh, it depends also, you know? But it's funny that uh, it's difficult to find a good person. Mm. These enemies, they have to come back in order to make up for their last life. But they're too low and they make a lot of trouble as well. But if I refuse them, they become worse even. They, they cannot uh, go up. You see what I mean? Mm? Oh, my God. After the ice cream was delicious. Ice cream? <laughs> you have more in the storeroom. 
is the price uh, reasonable there? I never go there. I never know what they sell. That's, I just told her today you know, that I'm going to check the price, whether they sell it too, too expensive or anything, or they just cover the cost. Normally, they should just cover the cost. I have never known the shop. I didn't know they have a shop there even. Yeah. I just know it recently, only on this retreat, recently. And I always wanted to ask them about the price, but I never had a time to do it. Because at this time, I normally have to, to run fast. Today, I came early, I have a lot of time, but mostly I run, I run fast. Nah? I come quick and then I go quick. Um, the thing is, it, it, it was my fault, though. I, before I even took on this business officially, I vowed that I would save the, the people who are the worst cases, who are from hell and who nobody else cares for. So they all come to me. So it's my fault. But uh, okay, I can bear it. It's not not big deal. It's just it's just that you cannot say that you don't feel anything. That's all, okay? I'm just explaining all this to you. Maybe so that you know something. Maybe you can also protect yourself. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, is a world-renowned spiritual teacher, humanitarian, and artist. To learn more about her compassionate life and teachings, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash master.